Regarding shader compilation on PC, have you ever talked about why PCs seem to have to actually compile shaders while consoles are able mm-hmm. to just run the game? If not, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks. Fairly straightforward, this one, right, John? Basically, yeah. with a fixed platform, um, compiling the shaders is built into the build process on Unreal Engine. Precisely. Right? So it just it just works. Yeah, they've pre-compiled them and they just ship it with it. That's it. Yeah, uh, It's because I mean, the, the hardware is, is a fixed platform, so they know exactly yeah. what it needs to, to run on. Yeah, one of, the greatest, one of the greatest strengths of the PC is the diversity of hardware, but what it means is that those shaders need to be compiled for every single graphics card. And, you know, if the driver changes, I believe that the shaders need to yep, be recompiled yep. again. There's a, it's, it's, it's a big problem, but, you know, I, I think honestly think things will improve in 2023. It, um, it kind of feels like the whole shader model almost needs like a rethink or something. I don't know. Uh, because it, it feels like we're seeing like legacy issues with how they were, with how shaders work fundamentally. And just with the huge number of permutations we're now dealing with, it just doesn't work well without pre-compilation and it would be great Mm. if there was a way to essentially sidestep that somehow i don't know i don't know what's possible but obviously that's the boat we're in at the moment yeah it's just kind of baffling to me that um you know we've got amazing pc hardware press out there and um you know we're still seeing bar charts showing you know games that have got stutter struggle you know, with bar charts going up to like 200 FPS and it's like a 4090 can go down to 20 FPS on your first playthrough. It's just like pretty, yeah, pretty bad. I, to me, this suggests, and I think this is the fundamental difference with a lot of benchmarks that you see out there is that when people are benchmarking something, they're they're doing it purely for the benchmark. It's not about playing the game, right? But if you yeah. actually play the game, this stuff stands out a lot more. And that's basically the difference between us and like, you know, when Alex is loading up something to test it, he's playing the game first and foremost and yep. then learning about it and then going back and doing all the benchmarking and comparisons and everything. And the shader stuff really sticks out. Whereas if you just got a tench be- test bench, a <laughs> tench best, that's funny. Uh, you know, you might load it up once or twice just to do some quick tests and then actually sit down and get down to business and or throw out certain results or you're only like, well, I'm only interested in measuring this, so this is irrelevant. But it definitely feels like a lot of places just aren't really acknowledging it. And I'm, it's a, it's a bummer because we need people to acknowledge this like Alex is doing, like we're doing, uh, t- before, if we're going to see any change. So, yeah. and we know that some developers, they, they're very much working on this, right? Callisto now has an actual like compiling shaders UI element on the PC that pops up and, you know, they're, they're working towards this. And I don't think that would have happened if we hadn't been so proactive at calling it out. Mm. So Oliver, let's uh, go back one year, almost to the day actually, where, um, um, Alex had gone on holiday, and you were given the uh, the job of doing Final Fantasy VII Remake on PC. Yeah. Oh. I'm presuming you'd played it before on uh, co- on consoles. Yeah, I'd beaten it twice I mean, this before. Is, this, you're, you're not a, a PC-focused guy here at DF, so what did you think when you saw the <laughs> PC version of, you know, you know of Final Fantasy VII? How did that work out for you? Oh, it was just, it was unbelievable, like the degree of the stutter. And I never really experienced that on PC before, at least noticed it on PC before. 2021 was the year that the stutter struggle really came in with the a widespread <laughs> adoption of DX12 across PC titles. And the fact yeah. that there was this major issue and also the bizarre, totally bizarre fact that by entering a string of code basically into the launcher, you could make it launch in DX11 and fix a lot of it, not all of it, but a lot of it. That was just such a bizarre situation. And this year, the stutter struggle for me this year was covering Resident Evil 8 on Mac, <laughs> which inexplicably, oh, yeah. even though they're like, you know, you got to think there's only a handful of build targets uh, in terms of GPUs on Apple Silicon Macs that had horrible shader compilation issues. So. Yeah, dude, exa- that's what I thought when I was watching your video as well. I'm like, wait a minute. Like there are a finite number of Macs in existence, <laughs> yeah. right? This is yeah. not like the PC. Yeah. There are like should... four GPUs that can like, run well, that game. What the heck? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's almost a console at this point. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear.